I cannot believe how huge it is. So cool. They are so cool. They're so beautiful. I'm gonna blow away. <laughs> now I know why you guys put the wind farm here. <laughs> I walk the walk whenever I'm not in the race car. I'm always trying to make the right choice. I'm always trying to do whatever I can to reduce my carbon footprint. We can't live on this planet without having some sort of a footprint, but we can do everything, each of us can do everything that we can to reduce it. Changing out your light bulbs for energy efficient light bulbs and supporting projects like this. This is the future. This is where we need to be getting our energy from, from the wind, from the sun, from the water. I don't know why it took us so long to get here. We should have been doing this ages ago. We've got the old carbon economy right here, and right behind it, the new carbon-free economy, the future. It's patriotic to support clean, renewable energy. Why not use the sun and the wind when you can? and Nextera Energy is doing it. There's tons of companies out there that talk about clean renewable energy. A lot of them are not going out and building wind turbines and doing these things, um, and Nextera is doing it. And not only are they doing it with wind, but they're doing it with, with solar. They also have the largest solar farm in the world. So, you know, they're acting, they're not just talking. You gotta walk, you gotta walk the walk. There's 100 million race fans in the United States. That's a pretty big chunk of people. So as an environmentalist that happens to drive a race car, I have a platform to talk to those fans. Um, and these are the kinds of things I want to show them. I, wanna, I want them to see how amazing this is. They'll forgive me for being a tree hugger because I've got a race car underneath me. <laughs> they're, they're like, OK. We don't normally hang out with vegetarian, tree hugging, recycling, composting, hippie chicks, but she's kind of cool because she races cars. <laughs> I'm ready to climb up one now. <laughs> When I look at these things, to me, it's like a symbol of what we can accomplish. It's amazing to think, think back when, when 100 years ago, 200 years ago, did they ever think that we would be able to use the wind to power cities? 